come to the door and say trick or treat? Boop. It's not a decoration for Halloween that's real? <laughs> this is not normal. Look, Ava, I hurt my finger. <laughs> they look down at the bowl. Get me the original plane in! Under your command, it will start to magically bend. You say, hey, have you seen these new fake spiders? They're really realistic. What's good? Welcome back to a special Halloween edition of How to Magic. Oh, 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 magic! I am your host, Evan Era. Today I'm showing you 10 scary magic pranks for Halloween. It's showtime. So if you're ready, hit that thumbs up button for me and let's go. Okay, for this one, you're gonna make somebody think you really hurt your finger. Let's check it out. Look, Ava, I hurt my finger. <gasps> okay, here's the secret. It's really simple. We're gonna deconstruct this thing for you. It's basically just like a little piece of gauze and then it's got like a little dot of red paint on it so it kind of looks like it's bleeding. And on the inside, you've got this. This is what makes the magic happen. So that little curve in the nail fits right around your finger like that. The bandage on the outside acts to cover it so nobody sees. And it creates a really convincing illusion that a nail is going right through your finger. And that is how you do the magic nail through the finger trick. Okay, so this is a fun prank that you can play on friends, family, or trick-or-treaters if you're weird. So you can offer somebody a donut, kind of looks like a donut or a bagel. They go to pick it up off the plate. And a disgusting cockroach pops out and scares them. It's not a decoration for Halloween, it's real? <laughs> so they go to pick up the donut, and there's a cockroach, fake cockroach hidden underneath, connected to monofilament on both sides, so as soon as they pick up the donut, the roach picks up and looks like it's jumping at them, freaks people out every single time. And that is how you do the cockroach donut prank. Okay, this scary Halloween prank is the magic finger guillotine. Let's check it out. So what we have here is a very special finger guillotine. Equipped with a sharp metal blade. Capable of slicing through any finger in its path. If you would be so kind, please place your finger inside the finger guillotine. Alright, and if you would, just lightly press down on the blade and ensure uh, that yeah, it is genuinely sharp. real. Yeah, it's real. It's sharp. Dun 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 dun. Five, four, three, two, one. Huh? Your finger is left unharmed. Did it cut your finger at all? No. <laughs> did not. So the secret to this trick is contained entirely in the device itself. Completely self-working. The secret is in the blade. So when you press down on the blade when it's like this, it's completely solid and it can't pass through whatever's inside. But when you put your fingers here and pull the blade back up, it rotates into a different position. And now it's able to pass through whatever is inside there. So if I put my finger inside, and push down quickly, it looks like the blade passes through my finger, but we can see when it's moving in slow motion that it's actually just rotating around, just like that. So that's the secret. Do it fast enough, and it looks like the blade passed right through their finger. And then when they want to inspect it, have them put their finger in this way, and it feels completely solid. And that is how you do the magic finger guillotine prank. So Ava, we just got this magic box and it says, please don't open. I thought maybe you could open it. I don't know, it but says bam. do not open. It does say do not open, but I heard it's a magic box and there's something really cool inside. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a really cool little special box. It's a little wooden box with a slide out lid and as you slide the lid up, it's got a little fake spider attached to what looks like a piece of wire. You kind of look at how this is made. It's like the wire is attached to this little block. And as you pull the lid, it pulls on the string that's attached to the block. The spider pops up and scares your victim. Ah! So you could just set this up in your living room, sitting on your kitchen counter, wait for somebody to come by and open it. Uh, they're gonna get a nice scare. Get ready to freak out your friends. This is the needle through the arm prank. So you walk up to your market and you're like, oh, my arm! They're gonna totally freak out. Looks like a needle is just through your arm. You can move it back and forth. Like, oh, dude, it's really in there. I can't get it out. 
Ugh. And you can even like move it back and forth through the cut. Ah! Pull the needle out. Ugh. Rub your arm and the cut, the holes magically heal and you're left completely unharmed. Okay, here is the secret set. Okay, here is what you'll need. You need a special needle. It's actually hollow in the middle, and it's got this little bead on the end that you can fill with fake blood. You'll also need some rubber cement and some fake blood. If you don't have stage blood, you can make your own stage blood at home by using corn syrup and red food coloring. So the little ball on the back actually comes off and is flexible. And you fill this part with your stage blood, just like so. And once you've got the little reservoir filled with blood, you're going to pop the needle back on. Okay, now that you've got your fake needle filled with your stage blood, you're going to take your rubber cement and apply a thin coat of it to your forearm. Just like that, and let it dry. Okay, now that you've let the rubber cement dry and become kind of tacky, it means like sticky when you touch it, you're going to take your needle, place it on your arm, and then fold the skin on your arm around the needle, just like that, so that it sticks together with the rubber cement and creates the illusion that the needle is stuck right through your arm. Pinch, and the skin will stick together. Just like that. And now to enhance this, just squeeze the ball and blood will start to come out of either side. You can see a little dot of blood just there. And kind of twist the needle back and forth and the blood will kind of act as a lubricant and allow you to slide the needle back and forth. This is not normal! And that is a crazy, scary Halloween magic prank. Perfect for trick-or-treaters. And that is how you do the needle through the arm prank. Okay, for this one, you're gonna make a ghost magically fly out of your trick-or-treat candy. This is the haunted trick-or-treat bag. So you walk up to the door to do your trick-or-treating, someone goes to hand you some candy in your bucket, and boom, a ghost flies out and scares them. Okay, here is the secret. Here's what you'll need. A trick-or-treat candy bucket, a marker, some paper towels, a rubber band, and a prank ice cream cone shooter. Available in the Evanera TV shop at evaneratv.com. So you can get yours just in time for Halloween so that you can do the prank too. So here's what you do. Your first step is to cut out the bottom of your candy bucket. So now that you've got the bottom cut out of your candy bucket, your next step is to make your prank ghost. And you're gonna do that by taking our ice cream shooter, taking your paper towel, placing it right on top, and then you're going to rubber band the paper towel around the ball of the ice cream, just like so, and then draw on a little ghost face. Now all that's left to do is to feed your hand up through the bottom of the candy bucket. Then when you walk up to the door to get candy from someone for trick-or-treating, just press the button on your ice cream shooter, the ghost will fly up and give them a Halloween scare. Just a reminder, you can get your ice cream popper to do this prank in the Evanera TV shop at evaneratv.com. We are shipping them worldwide, so get yours today so you can prank your friends and neighbors on Halloween. And that is how you do the haunted bag of trick-or-treat candy. Okay, for this one, you're gonna trade a trick for a treat and leave a spooky surprise in someone's candy bowl. Let's take a look. So this is extremely simple. All you're gonna need for this is a prank fake spider or some kind of fake bug. And what you're gonna do is palm this in your hand. I have like a big spider here for demonstration purposes so it's kind of hard to palm it. But you can use like a small fake spider, palm it in your hand. And the entire trick here is when you go up to the door to get trick or treat candy from somebody and get candy from their bucket, instead of grabbing a piece of candy, you're going to leave your prank spider. So when you reach in, you're just gonna leave the prank spider and then the the next person to reach in the bowl of candy is gonna get a scary surprise or the person whose house you just got candy from whenever they look back at the bowl is gonna freak out when they see that spider. So you walk up trick-or-treat, grab a piece of candy, they look down at the bowl, ah! and it totally freaks them out. And that is how you do the trick-or-treat bug prank. So everyone's heard the urban legend about there being razor blades hidden in Halloween candy. Well for this one you're gonna prank your parents into thinking you got a booby trap treat. This is the bloody mouth prank. I didn't check my candy! My candy has a razor blade in it! All right, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal the secret. The secret to this trick is extremely simple and I'll teach you how it's done right now. So the only thing you need to pull this off are some of these. These are called blood capsules. They're filled with stage blood, that's fake blood. And when you bite into one of these little capsules, it's kind of like the consistency of a jelly bean. And when you bite into it, the blood inside, the fake blood shoots out and it makes it look like your mouth is bleeding. Totally harmless, it's safe if you swallow it, it's non-toxic. So all you do is take one of the blood capsules, pop it in your mouth, 
hide it in your cheek and wait until you're ready to do your prank. So you walk up to your parents and you're like, hey, I got one of these candies, but it's like, feels like it's really hard. Like there might be something in it. Mmm, 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 And that is how you do the magic bloody mouth prank. Okay, this one is the trick or treat confetti bomb prank. Let's take a look. Okay, here's how you set it up. So all you need for this one is a confetti popper. This is like a spring-loaded confetti cannon. And as soon as somebody walks in the door to get some trick-or-treat candy, just twist it, it'll pop off, shoot some confetti in their face. It's gonna give them a serious surprise. Let's check it out. And that is how you do the trick-or-treat confetti bomb prank. Okay, this one is the scary spider prank. Let's check it out. So you say, hey, have you seen these new fake spiders? They're really realistic. <laughs> just spray spider web all over your mark. Okay, here's the secret setup. Super complicated setup for this. All you need is a fake spider and a can of silly string. Hold the silly string under the fake spider and then spray it. And that is how you do the scary spider prank. Okay, this one is the haunted bending spoon trick. Let's check it out. So you're going to take an ordinary spoon and tell people to watch. Under your command, it will start to magically bend. Bending all the way over, drop it onto your spectator's finger, and it's totally and completely bent. Okay, here's the secret. The secret is found in our magic gimmick spoon. Right here in the middle, the spoon is cut in half. There's a small piece of plastic tubing holding the two pieces of spoon together. So when it's straightened out, I'm holding it with my fingers in place, and then when I let the pressure off of my fingers, the tube causes the spoon to bend back up, making it look like it's magically bending at my fingertips. So one more time, you have the spoon bent like this, and then under your command, let off, and it looks like the spoon magically bends. You then have a separate spoon that looks identical that's already bent. So once your trick spoon is fully bent, you're then going to switch it for your real spoon, and that is the one that you drop onto your spectator's finger, and that everyone is able to inspect, because it really is bent. And that is how you do the haunted bending spoon prank. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna make a creepy message magically appear glowing on a mirror. Check it out. So you can use a couple different methods for this prank. I use this glow spray. It's glow in the dark spray. It's really easy to write on a mirror with, and it works perfectly. All you do is spray the message onto the mirror, wait for somebody to find it, and be totally freaked out. Now your other method for doing this is to take a glow stick, open up the glow stick, and use the glow juice inside to write your message. This is a lot cleaner method, so if you can find glow spray, definitely use this instead. So you spray it on the mirror, you've gotta let it get exposed to light for a little bit. The foam absorbs the light, so that when you turn it off, and that is how you do the glowing haunted mirror trick. All right guys, it is giveaway time. I am giving away five magic bending spoons to five lucky comments in the comments section below. All you have to do to win one is give this video a thumbs up and leave a funny random comment in the comments section on this video. I'll be picking five random comments from the comments section and I will mail you your very own magic bending spoon so that you can do the prank yourself and freak out your friends and family. So leave a comment in the comments section below. You can leave as many comments as you want, unlimited comments. Just leave a funny, random, positive comment, good vibes only in the comments section below and win your own magic bending spoon. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you for watching and happy Halloween. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for me and share it on your Facebook or Twitter. Text or email it to a friend. You know what to do. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications for our channel so you can be the first to watch new videos as soon as I upload them. Until next time, you can click up here in the corner to watch more how-to magic content. And until next time, remember that anything is possible. As long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Real quick guys, I just want to extend a huge heartfelt thank you to everyone who's placed an order on EvanEraTV.com so far. You guys have been absolutely blowing up the shop. Can't tell you how much we appreciate it. We're a family run, grassroots operation. Everything you order from the shop is packed up by us in-house. We're not a huge corporation and we're not outsourcing our order fulfillment to someone else. So everything you order from us, if you order a Laugh at Life t-shirt. Laugh at Life. 
it's packaged up by us. Any magic tricks you order are all packaged up by hand by us. So when you place an order from our shop, you are directly supporting us in this channel, helping us keep the lights on, the cameras rolling, and the magic flowing. We've been working around the clock to get orders out, reordering stock like crazy, shipping worldwide all over the world. I just want to say from my family to yours, thank you so much for placing your orders. All right, guys, it's time to announce the giveaway winners from the last How To Magic video. The winners are these names right here. Send me a message on YouTube to claim your prize. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway drawing and good luck to everyone entering this giveaway drawing. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments below.